Okay? So, uh, you know, so we're going to begin tonight's uh, agenda. And, uh, you know, so I've already skipped over the thing. Sorry, Clerk Treasurer. Go ahead. That's okay, go ahead. Just a little broke all the. Okay. Yeah. Mayor Amy? Do I have a motion to approve the minutes of March 9th? I'll make a motion. Is there a second? I will second the motion. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Hearing none, motion passes. Our, our business tonight is very limited, <clears throat> and in new business, the city of Scottsburg, as of Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, April 1, will be taking over the management of property that the city, city of Scottsburg owns, which is property known as the former Frudenberg Manufacturing Facility, or today is known as the Mid-America Science Park. That has been operated and managed by the economic development, and we have not, we've determined not to go forward with that management, and the city will manage it, manage it itself. So what we have to do this evening is approve the Mid-America Science Park job descriptions. Now, uh, this is gonna depend upon council approval, but we do need to uh, approve the Mid-America Science Job Description, Science Park job descriptions. Secondly, we need to approve the, the hiring at the Mid-America Science Park positions. And thirdly, approve the, uh, the consultant agreement with one known as Roberta Foster. And this is an additional appropriation. So in moving forward, uh, to prove the Mid-America Science Park job descriptions, we have before us Basically, we have a maintenance position, and, uh, and these folks are currently out there. So, uh, you know, so they have been under, currently, these three positions have been currently subcontracted out to mount landscaping and mowing. And these three people have been paid under that subcontractor. So again, EDC, Economic Development Corporation, I am assuming subcontracted the inside maintenance, the outside mowing and landscaping to mount. And so these folks are now coming on board with the city, one in a full-time position, two in a part-time position. So uh, on the, 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 the first one is a, the maintenance operator for the Mid-America Science Park. Do I have to read all this job description? No. I don't do it. So this is going to be an hourly non-exempt status. In other words, he's going to be paid hourly and he will be a full-time city employee going here. Uh, the second one... Is this the inside one or the outside one? Th this is an inside one. The outside is going to be I'm glad you asked that, Tom. The outside is going to be handled. The landscaping and the mowing will all be handled by Scottsburg Parks and Recreation. So that is going to be an undertaking that we're taking over in-house, and we're not really going to have a salary for outside. Uh, we have we have kind of a little courtyard inside, and we have reach, reached out to 4-H and other organizations to see if they would like to go in and test their talents there in the center courtyard. But everything on the outside is going to be handled pretty well by Scottsburg. So these are all inside functions. Uh, so again, this is going to be the full-time maintenance, hourly, non-exempt. In other words, he's going to clock in, clock out, paid by the hour and entitled to full benefits as an employee of the city of Scottsburg. This man's name is Mike Kiefer, and he's been out of that position probably 40 years, even though it was Frudenberg. The second position I have to bring before you is an assistant part-time non-exempt maintenance. And this is, gentleman's name is Phil Graff, and he's going to be part-time probably no more than about 24 hours. 
his, part of his duties are going to be to help Mike when necessary, but because we have an event center there, Phil was going to help set that event center up, tear that event center down, help keep it clean, and that's going to be one of his jobs. So much of his hours is going to be in, in and around those after hours, weekend type deals as well. Again, let me say this, City of Scottsburg is now going to bring City Janitorial out to the Ben America Science Park to do a lot of the regular cleaning. So uh, it's not that they're going to do all of it because we will have a janitorial assistant out there. But again, this position here that we have tonight is a maintenance assistant, part-time, uh, non-exempt employee. Any questions so far? Okay, the third position I have for you today is the janitorial assistant. And uh, this gal's name is, I like to, her name is Cheryl. I like to call her Cheryl Lynn for whatever reason. I don't think Lynn's her last name. That's just a nickname I've given her, but she's a real nice lady. Cox. And again, they, what's her last name? Cox. Cox, Cheryl Cox. And she's been out there, again, with Mel in a, in, in that role that Mount Landscaping had in a subcontractual role. She's now coming on the city of Scottsburg in a part-time hourly rate as well. Again, Cheryl, who's been doing all the cleaning out there, may continue to do some if no events are there. But again, her main thing is gonna to be to set up the event center, tear down the event center, and keep that area all clean. Uh, the fourth, the fourth one I have is the Mid-America, I want to say concierge. I don't know if that's the proper verbiage I would like to use, but that's what it's showing here. It too is a part-time hourly non-exempt. These are the folks that are going to sit at the entrance door that is on the north side of the park. Most of the park is in our lockdown area. That is the main entrance. When you come through that atrium and you go into the Mid-America Science Park, that is the person who's going to sit there behind that counter. And they're going to have different duties from directions to answering phone calls or answering questions to, you know, uh, possibly showing rentals. Uh, you know, but again, we have two people out there right now. They're both part-time, they're both hourly, and they're both in non-exempt status. And what questions do you have so far? We have two people there, both in a part-time position. And, you know, and those are the employees that the city of Scottsville will be taking on as city employees under one full-time and basically four part-time. So, and the last person I have is Roberta Foster. And she has been the person that has been that was taken out by the city of Scottsburg and about a year and a half ago. She's basically kind of been put in their role to help in the assisting of the management of the Mid-America Science Park. Uh, she's worked under the umbrella of EDC. Uh, she's been a contract employee getting a 1099. And uh, so she is going to step back in that position, but we may need her from anywhere from two to four weeks to make, help us make this transition going in. So, <clears throat> so we need her just as a, as a contract, uh, as a contract entity that we are hiring to help in the transition from EDC to the city of Scottsburg. So those are the job descriptions. So now, do I need a motion on it? Or just go through the whole thing? Or motion the whole thing? So is, it, is this Bobby Foster's position then not going to be needed after a month or so? Bobby Foster's position will be needed, but the problem is, is that she opted not to take the offer that was given to her by the city of Scottsburg. 
And so what we're going to have to do is find a person for that. For right now, Miss Jones and Miss Campbell will probably be assisting in that area until we get a person here to put into that position. So we hope to be doing that in short order so that we can get a person in that position fairly readily. So I really do need, I probably need to, we don't have that position on here though, do we? We don't have it ready yet. Okay. We're still working on the job description. So the, the, next, the next time we meet, we will have that job description on here for you as well as what we would say would be the overall manager for the city at the Mid-America Science Park. That would represent the city's Mid-America Science Park. Again, being in a, in, more than likely a full-time position with the city of Scottsburg. So with that said, I would like to bring before you then, as far as people to hire, one is the maintenance man, the maintenance individual who would be hourly, who would be full-time. His name is Mike Kiefer. He's the one. Approve the job description first. Yeah. You gotta get so that's why I asked. So we need to approve the job descriptions first? Yes. Okay, then I guess we need to approve the job descriptions first. So we just can't do it all and put it all in one big batch of a big cake and put it in the other and bake it. <laughs> so, uh, you know, but uh, so let's go ahead and approve the, those are the job descriptions that are before you. So what I would need would be a motion to go forward in improving those particular job descriptions to take over the Mid-America Science Park for the City of Scottsdale. Contingent upon the City Council. I'll second that motion. Okay, Karen makes the motion, Tom seconds it. We're, so we are approving these, we are approving these job descriptions contingent upon the City Council going forward under the Board of Works auspices that we've passed it forward to them and these then, what city council votes would become, uh, would become a job description there. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed like sign. Hearing none, motion passes. We're now secondly going to go into approving, approve the hiring of these different positions. The position on the maintenance is Mike Kiefer. Again, that is the full-time position uh, of maintenance. The second position is the maintenance assistant, who is a man by the name of Phil Graff. Again, a part-time employee for the city of Scottsburg. The third position is the janitorial assistant position. That is Cheryl Lynn or Cheryl Cox. Again, a part-time employee with the city of Scottsburg. The last two positions are what we call the concierge setting at that that front table when you first get in to help you with all of your needs. Those two positions, one is Dale Martin is the current individual there, and the other young lady is Taylor Hawkins. Taylor Hawkins. Taylor Hawkins and Dale Martin. Again, we've gone forward and not releasing people and just basically having folks who are already in those positions carry on forward. So that's that's the positions, that's the folks we are asking you to uh, go forward and uh, I would like to see if we would have a motion to go forward then and hire these four individuals. I'll so move. Okay, Tom Lewis moves. Do we have a second? I second. Okay, Karen seconds. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, opposed like sign. Hearing no opposition, motion pass. The last thing I have then is the approval of the consultant agreement with Roberta Foster. Now, let me tell you about this agreement. It is, it is only for 30 days. It can be as low as 14 days, but we have to give a 14-day notice. I need to give her a notice tomorrow if we only want it for 14 days. In my mind, she was being paid $25 an hour and, and in this position, she has asked for a $10 raise of $35 an hour. She feels she is coming, and she is coming from a position of a year and a half of education, that she knows everything that's going on out there, and, and she would like $35 an hour. Now, we don't have to have her for 35 hours, I mean, 
every day. And if we don't have people out there, because we are in a lockdown situation out there right now, I'm not sure, you know, we're going to have to coordinate that. So I don't see her working 40 hours a week out there. But nonetheless, what we're here to do tonight is to basically to approve the consultant agreement with Ms. Roberta Foster, known as Bobby Foster. So do we have a motion to approve this consultant agreement? I'll make that motion. Okay, Tom wants to make the motion. Is there a second? I will second. Okay, Karen Grish is second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, uh, opposed like sign. Hearing none, the motion passes. Okay, uh, with us tonight is the secretary, the, the clerk, Treasurer Jan Hardy, uh, we have the Mayor's Assistant Jessica Jones, we have the ever awesome Kevin <laughs> down here doing all of our camera work, Kevin Jensen, and of course our council, Josh Dignan. So that's who's in attendance here tonight. No other uh, committee was here. We, we have space for 10. There, were, there are uh, uh, a total of five of us here. We're all at arm's length apart, and two by phone. So what other announcements do we have? I would just like uh, the board to be sure they would approve the uh, claims that were presented to them by an email. Uh, I think Tish has answered, it's my understanding, has answered the questions um, that that were asked. I have a few. I, I, I want to uh, expound on that question if I could. Uh, I noticed there was a uh, charge to Sagasser Engineering. I, I thought we were no longer going to use Sagasser Engineering, and it was for like forty nine hundred dollars. Yes, and did Tish did on Yes, did Tish respond to that one? I'll let Mayor Amick answer that because he had authorized that. That is work that Chase Spicer has done with Chase Harden at the sewer wastewater treatment plant. So I'll let Mayor Amy expound, please. Not all of that was approved. We had a $2,000. No, no, this that's is another separate thing. Yeah. It's yeah. what's on that claim yeah. for, uh, on the sewer plant. On the sewer plant? Yes, and I, yes. What we've had. I think that's like 49, 4960 or 4690 yes. or something like that. Okay. What, what has happened out there since Jason Combs has left, and Jason was the operator out there for 20 some odd years, we have a, a guy by the name of Chase Harden there. And Chase Harden has been there 17 years, but he was never the operator. So there are times that he is continuing to learn, and the person that was always the go-to person was Shane Spicer. So because Jason Combs isn't there, he's having to continue to call Shane Spicer. Now, Shane Spicer has left, my understanding is, say yes for engineering. I'm assuming. Yes, and I think that was uh, my understanding, Tish, was to let you know that was the last invoice that we would see that, that it will be billed at NDEV going forward. And NDEV? Yes. Capital E-N, capital D-E-V. Okay. Yeah, what did he do for $4,900? There have been, I, I know I looked at about a half dozen that were multiple calls that he went out there. I know he had to help, I know he had to help with, with a computer software. And you remember what else it was, yeah? I know, and we didn't bring, I didn't bring those. The, uh, I can scan that, we'll be glad to scan that invoice to you tomorrow, Tom, if like, because he did break down the hours on the second page. He's really doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I don't doubt that. I, I, I am just very leery when I see say yes or anything. Yeah, yeah. We, we had one, it's not in this one, apparently it is one that was for <coughs> redevelopment that was, that we, that we, that we're not going to pay. So, uh, uh, but, but here, but here are these, uh, Mr. Spicer has been out there and has done the work. That he is still listed. So, let me ask really, if that, as time passes by, and uh, what's the guy's name out there now? Uh, Chase Harden. Chase, as Chase learns more and more, I can imagine, uh, you correct me if I'm wrong, that we will need uh, Shane less and less. The, 
that that is that is the understanding that, that Chase Hart and I both have. That is correct. Okay. And as a matter of fact, before anybody can call in engineering, they have to call me first. Okay. So I'm I'm typically the one that has to approve any expenditures like that. Okay. So because it had, you know had been a little high or whatever, there were questions about it. I want all of those before we spend any money to go through the mayor. So, you know, that's where that's where we're at at this point. And that's been because again, he's a sequence batch reactor plant takes a little bit more finesse than an oxidation dish. And this was part of the decision we had to make as well, you know, because what had been proposed was a plant that was a little user, a little more user friendly in the oxidation dish. But the problem was it wasn't user friendly to the pocketbooks of the citizens of Scottsburg. What was supposed to be 18 and a half million, those are costs that were taken in 17 given to council in February, March of 18, and, and now in 20, those costs have gone up to 20 to 22 million dollars. We had a we had another sewer rate increase that was supposed to have taken effect on either December of the 18th or 19th, and it was not. It was I think another nine or 13 percent rate increase. That increase did not take did not take place. We have received back three of all three of the RFQs, we were going to sign on one of them, we're going to get everybody together to sign on one of those. We are going forward with an engineering company, and then from there we will be able to get the contractors. And what I'm seeing on my side with engineering and everything total, it's, it's, it's just a little over $9 million. So it's more than half of what we are saving. And we will now be able to have a new plant in that they're going to build a new control building. They are going to build a new building for our, uh, uh, oh, we've got a chemical, chemical feed building. We're going to have to expand the, the, uh, uh, the ultraviolet light building. We are building three new reactors. Once those three new reactors are up online, we'll then shut down the old three reactors retrofit those with new headworks and screens, a whole new screen system, whole new grid system. Everything's new, new whole new building out there. And we're building two or three new buildings, plus three new reactors and redoing the old reactors, all for $9 million. So again, we're doubling our capacity. The proposed plan was a 2 million gallon per day. Once we get done, this plant will be 2.7 million, all for just a little over $9 million. So, you know, we feel very positive. The problem is this just the sequence batch reactor does take a little bit more finesse and, and Chase is learning that and he's he's getting on top of it. So uh, okay. but he's had to have a little bit of help there. Okay. So what but good question, so thank you for asking that. What what are the questions do you have? Karen, do you have questions at all? No, not really. Now, Shane, are you out of the picture now? Shane, it, Shane does not get a regular check at all. He is, he is being used as needed. We have a community grant application we are applying for. We hope to get a million dollars for some streets and sidewalks, and I need engineering to do that. We've hired Shane's company because he's knowledgeable of everything to go forward and get us information for that. And he's. Yeah. I can understand, you know, using him. So he's got that background knowledge. Yeah. 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 He, he's, he and I are going to have an exact agreed amount. And there's not going to be any change to it. So for him to come up with these 
with the information I need, then he is going to present to me uh, his cost estimate, or he will give me a cost, and we'll either approve it or not approve it, and the board of works. That will come to you next. So, I mean, that's something else he's working on for the city of Scottsboro. But again, we've, we've not gone forward to that because I'm waiting on him to get that. And I've got about a July, June and July deadline, so we need to get, we're working, we're going forward to that now. But nothing's, not, we're not paying him on that, but I've talked to him and say he needs to get me his quote as to what he feels he can do this for. Right, right, okay. And I'm going to tell you, I, you know, I've bid this out, you know I mean? I've got 30 engineering companies I've talked to. So again, we, we will bid everything. That's great. That is a good thing. So, other questions, comments? I'm good. Okay. Hearing none, then do I have an approval? I have four packets of vouchers in front of me. Then do I have an approval to accept these four packets that you've been emailed already? I like that money. Yes. Okay. Then is there a second? Okay, Tom made the motion, Karen seconded it. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, opposed like sign. Hearing none, so passed. What else do we have for tonight's meeting? Clerk Treasurer, hearing none. I have nothing. Jess? Nothing. Mr. Jensen? Okay, you can't hear you say it, but it's shaking back and forth. Uh, Mr. Stigler. I do not have anything. Nothing else? Uh, then we do, we have a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. So adjourn. Thank you guys for tonight for your effort of doing this. We're keeping everybody safe. Very limited here. As you know, City Hall has been on a lockdown for a week now. We're basically in our eighth day here. So, uh, uh, we're still here with skeleton crews. Everything's going forward. So, uh, so, but okay. Anything else? We're adjourned. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you so very much. Y'all be safe. Bye bye.